Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Trillium on CostOS using Bigber CostOS, a third-party app store. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over at home apps, installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So, we'll be uh, installing Trillium today. Um, it's a personal knowledge base with Trillium Notes. Here's the UI. And here's some features. So that's what we'll be installing today. So I'll be starting on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link on the YouTube description to get to this. And uh, this is a third party app store for Cost OS that's maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. It has quite a few apps now. And I did make a video on how to install uh, Big Bear Cost OS on Cost OS, but I'm going to be going over in this video as well. Um, you will need Cost OS version 0.4.4 or newer to add custom app stores. So I'm going to scroll up, and then I'm going to go to App Store URL right here. I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to go over to my Cost OS and get the App Store set up. So I'm going to start on my Cost OS. I'm going to go to App Store. And then I'm going to go to more apps right here. I'm going to paste in the URL that we copied over in Big Bear Cost OS. Now I'm going to press add. Now we have 166 apps. And um, to see the category over here, I'm going to refresh the page, go back into the app store, go to categories, and then now you see Big Bear Cost OS. So you can click it. And now you can see all the apps that you can install uh, using Big Bear Cost OS. So. We got the app store set up. So I'm going to be starting on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go over the search right here. Just type in Trill. Then I'm going to go to Trillium and then Docker and Pose. So the Cost OS app name is Big Bear Trillium. I'm going to set services. And the first service underneath the services is called App. The cont container name is going to be called Big Bear Trillium. And this makes it to where it doesn't have to have a random name that Docker gives it. And then uh, image right, right here is the Docker image. So it is coming off of Docker by default because there's no year before this. And this is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. And then restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then now I'm going to set environment variable for the Trillium data director right here. And uh, this will be home node Trillium data. This path is the container path. This is not the host path because the container knows nothing about the host path. And then uh, volumes to, uh, to be mounted. So on the left is the ho host. On the right is the container. So data, app data, and then app ID, and then de data is on the host. And this dynamic variable is gotten from the name up here, so Big Bear tr Trillium. And then um, on the container side is home node Trillium a data. And this is the same path as up here. So ports, the, uh, the left side is on the host. It's 8080. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. And then now on the container side is 8080. So, I'm going to set some X process information to explain the volumes and then to explain the ports. I'm going to set some X process information to explain the app store. So, uh, the, the app uh, in the app store. And then architectures are AMD64 and ARM64. This is the uh, what the Docker image uh, up here supports. And then main is the, uh, the, the service called app up here and uh, a description of the tagline of the developer of the actual Trillium and then the author of the Docker Impose, the icon, the thumbnail, the title, and then the categories so people can find all the Bieber Cost OS apps. And then port map is 8080. 
And this does rhyme with the port on the host of 8080 right here. So now uh, I explain the Docker Bose. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start on my Cos OS. I'm going to go to App Store and then I'm going to type in the search uh, Trill. So now you'll see Trillium right here. I'm going to go into it and then press install. Now I can continue in background and then it, it, it will be installing. What this is doing is it's downloading the Docker image off the registry, getting it extracted and getting it up with Docker Compose underneath because this does use the Docker engine. Um, so it's almost up. And sometimes this does get stuck. So I'm going to refresh the page. So uh, we got Trillium up and running. So I'm going to be going over the container options. Um, so you go up these vertical dots right here. You click it. You can open in the web UI. You can set some tips. It's kind of like a notepad. And then you can edit it down uh, by clicking that icon right there. And then you go over to the uh, text area. And you can type in here. And then press that little uh, check mark. And then it says Trillium is okay. So it reloaded the container. So I'm going to go back in tips. And you can see it did save. You can go back in there, you can go to settings, and you can change some of these settings, and uh, you can also go in the terminal logs, go in a, uh, into the container. You can see logs is great for debugging. You can export the Docker and pose up here. Um, you can exit out of there. You can check for the current uh, updates and the current tag, and then you can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So that's a little bit about the container options. So I'm going to show you where the files are located. So if you go in the files app, you go to app data and then Big Bear Trillium right here and then data. And then you can see the files that are in the data. Um, you can go up here to check mark all the files. You can download, copy, cut, delete, and then cancel. You can also go up to this top uh, horizontal dots right here and download, copy path, rename, cut, copy, share, and then delete. So that's where your files are located. So now I'm going to go into the UI. So you can open it from here or you can go up here and open it. So now you have three options. You can start as a new user. If you have a desktop instance already uh, and you just want to sync with it, you can select that one. If you have a server instance already and uh, you want to sync with it, you can select this one. I'm going to select the new user. So next. And now you can put a password in. And make sure you remember this password because you will have to sign in with it. So now once you put a password in and you confirm the password, you can say set password. Now you need to put the password in again. So now I'm going to log in. So now uh, you're started with this and you can see different ones and how things work. You can draw with it, tech, journal, for, uh, formatting examples. Uh, you can go up here to new note and you can create a whole new note on this date. And then there we go. You can see it did create a new tab up here. So you can cl close tabs. You can open tabs. And then when you open tabs, you can go straight to that note. Um, you can um, a jump to a note. So if you want to jump to testing again, you can jump to it. You can see a note map. This is really neat. It's like a mind map. There we go. Um, you can see a calendar and go to the current date, or you can go to another date. Um, you can see recent changes. You can open today's journal notes. You can uh, click here for a protected session. You can hide this panel completely. You can do a quick search. And then there you go. You see the, the testing note, you're able to go to it. You can create a new split and go to a different note and have notes side by side. Um, you can go into the, uh, the notes. So you can also go up here to the menu and you can go to options and then, um, you can open a new window, switch to mobile version, configure a launch bar, uh, show shared, a uh, note subtree, advanced, 
show help about and then lo log out completely. You also have options down here and um, you can go with the cog. So that's a little bit about the UI in Trillium. So I just went step by step and getting Trillium working on Cost OS using Bitbird Cost OS. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.